keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the button below. Hello, welcome to this video from racingbetdata.com. Uh, this video today, we're going to be explaining uh, a small new feature that we've added in to the outputs from the data dashboard uh, section, which includes the um, select a date function around testing a system or strategy for significance. So we've had a few inquiries uh, about where people have uh, talked to us about a system and they want to know if it's a robust system or not. Uh, we've guided in the past towards our example downloads section where there is a statistical relevance file in Excel where you can pump in uh, various characteristics around your system, i.e. number of selections, the, the yield, um, the average odds, um, and people, and we've been encouraging people to use that to familiarize themselves with the term a p-score or p-value from a t-test. Now, I'm not going to go into too much around the statistical element of that. Um, there's plenty available on the internet if you want to, to educate yourself a little bit more around p-score and p-value and t-tests and Archie score and those sorts of things. Uh, but what I'm going to display for you now is uh, an embedded feature that we've just added to the data dashboard. Now, it's important to not confuse the uh, the use of system strategy testing in this element with backfitting or back fashioning data. So the specific aim or reason that you should be using this p-value is where you have made a set, a set of selections in the past and you want to test the significance, how likely it is that those selections, uh, those profitable selections, are down to uh, skill or um, a, a, an actual edge that you've gained rather than it being uh, pure luck, pure fluke. Um, so the risk is, and the reason this shouldn't be used for backfitting is that you're changing, tweaking formula to generate something that does have a low p-score and go, brilliant, I've got a system here. Well, no, you've backfitted that. What you need to do, that could be a good place to start and say, well, that has been profitable and is a, gives a significant score in the past. Let's see how it performs over the next three, four months, for instance. And then you would test that three to four months, whether you've been trading at small stakes or paper trading or, or, or just keeping an eye on it. You could then test that, that period of time significance to give you the P-score and see how that fared. And that then would give you that confidence level you need. So let's pick some random selections. So I'm going to I'm just going to pick the um, specific all-weather tracks and I'm going to look at, um, I'm just going to ge generate some random outputs here. Let's look at the um, Betfair favourites. So I'll untick all of these. Betfair favourites at all-weather, solely all-weather tracks. And if I throw in um, our uh, RBD ranks, the so top rank horses, and let's just look at 2023 for the output. So there's nothing scientific about this. I'm just saying, if my uh, system January the 1st, 2023 was to back all Betfair uh, favorites where the RBD uh, rank was one, so it's the top ranked horse, Betfair favorite, and on all weather tracks, this is the output uh, we would have been backing over the course of the year. Uh, and I'm gonna show you the, the p-value or the p-score in the, in the output here. Just wait for the output to generate, I guess there's a, few hundred uh, lines of output to generate here. Shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, there we go. So we've got 543 records. I'm gonna scroll down to the output table. So obviously here we've done several videos on, on the output and how you can use that data. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna just scroll down to the bottom and you can see here p-value, p-value explained. So what we have here, if we had backed all of these selections, um, we would have been uh, in a negative. So we would have lost, so there's no p-value. If we had laid those, if our criteria is to find all the uh, Betfair favorites on all weather tracks where they were ranked number one and we had laid them all, um, would have generated a profit in both the uh, win market and in the place market. And you can see it's generated a p-value score for laying. So obviously there's no p-value for, for any of these um, selections or uh, output criteria where there was a backing because it was a, uh, a negative, a losing system. But for, for laying it was positive 
uh, and we've generated this score to 16.84%. What does that mean? Well, like I said, there's plenty on the internet, but we have also popped in this little box here that gives you an explanation on the p-value. Uh, so the p-value itself will range between 50 or 0 to 50%. And the smaller the p-value, the less likely the record will have, a, or the output will have arisen by chance. So basically the more likely something else like skill uh, would be the primary cause. So exactly what we're looking for when generating or testing a system that you have been backing or laying in this instance. Um, anything more than a p-value of 1% is not considered by statistici statisticians to be evidence of something other than chance going on. So we've had scores of 16.8 and 31.7. So like I said, it's random output. I'm just generated that to get some uh, figures in this table. And then it goes on to uh, suggest that obviously a p-value of 1% means your record will arise by chance one in a hundred times. Um, and the estimation is fairly robust for variable staking provided the stake size do, do not vary too much. The t-test is less reliable for records shorter than 100 bets. So we've got 500 here. Uh, this test also assumes that you are betting to market efficient or 100% value prices i.e. random pick selection will break even over the long term. So basically the Betfair market is uh, deemed to be pretty efficient around or as equal to 100% as you can get. Um, here's the key bit. So it also assumes there's no backfitting, backfashioning taking place and you're generating outputs for selections in a predefined system rather than testing random historical outputs. So absolutely nothing wrong with testing uh, and creating your systems as you have done and you get a p-value but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have created a significant system there. What it means is you need to continue monitoring the performance of that and then test it after your period of three months, four months, whatever it may be. Depends on your amount of selections it's generating. Obviously, if it's one a day, seven a week, um, then it will take longer than something that's generating 40 picks a day um, or, you know, a couple of hundred a week. Your, um, your, your time period for monitoring will be will be less. For fixed odds, much bet markets, marking leading best prices will closely approximate 100% value. So we've spoken about that already. A P-score, so this is where what you're looking for. A P-score below 5% gives moderate evidence against the thesis that the yield is a result of a chance alone. A P-score below 1%, 1 which ties in with the top, could be considered strong evidence against this thesis. And under 0.1%, so 1 in a 1,000 chance it's down to luck, is a very strong uh, evidence. So you essentially you're looking for a, the lower uh, p-score or p-value, the better uh, when you're testing a system that you've already been backing or following or laying um, to, to um, mark that against the, the significance of it being just down to random luck. We're gonna roll this out and add it into the football bet data dashboard as well, although there are quite uh, a lot more profitable uh, profitability tables on the FBD website. So that way it'll take a little bit longer, but let, let, let us know your thoughts. Uh, it's just been rolled out. So if there's any anything that might need tweaking or ironing out, please let us know and we will look at that. But anyway, I hope that pro uh, proves useful. It's been something that's been requested. Uh, and as ever, we're glad to uh, listen to what your uh, your thoughts and queries are and make this available where possible.